going on guys? So Phil Deru back again with another video. I got some recent questions lately about how to develop kicking speed for combat sports. Now I think this has to do with a lot of, uh, of videos that I put in the past, especially when it comes down to striking speed. Um, I did one with Chris Barnett over at Overtime Athletes. You can check it out on his page or you can go on mine. I'll put the links in the description below. But primarily our basis of, of why we're trying to increase or how we can increase that kicking ability or that speed and that kicking ability is through the hip itself. So we gotta make sure that we are increasing active range of motion and dexterity inside that joint capsule of the hip. Now the hip is a ball and socket joint. So we wanna make sure that we are gaining that true range of motion inside there so that we can utilize that to put more velocity into our kicks, whether it be a Muay Thai kick or karate kick, a Taekwondo kick, all these kicks come with the ability to have dexterity in the hips so we need to make sure that we're doing that appropriately so that's step one is increased range of motion now step two we're going to develop strength so we have to make sure that we're strong in our hips in our glutes in our hip flexors in your psoas so you'll be working on things like uh leg raises knee raises you'll also be doing some anti-rotation work um, as far as your glutes, we're gonna be working on glute bridges, some average just regular back squats or zercher squats, front squats. Also, you can work on lunging. So these are many different things that you can utilize from a strength perspective to get your glutes, your hamstrings, your hips, and your psoas in general, strong and ready to go. After that, step three, we wanna increase that rate of force development. So we wanna make sure that the strength we gained, we can increase the power output through that strength. So doing things like box jumps and hurdle hops and single leg bounds. These things are gonna help with overall uh, faster and more powerful kicks, okay? After that, we wanna increase that repeated sprint ability. We want you to be able to throw those kicks as fast as possible for a long duration inside a fight or whatever the case may be inside your training. So you're gonna be doing things like, um, when it comes down to sports specifics, kicking the bag with more velocity for a fast time and we can do this in a time frame primarily you want to keep it below 10 seconds so that you don't lose that overall speed factor so going down the line again we want to increase range of motion then we want to develop absolute strength inside each muscle that utilizes the kicks step three we want to increase rate of force development so we want to increase that power production and that overall explosiveness and then lastly, you want to increase your repeated sprint ability, having the ability to move fast for a long duration. Check this out. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, make sure you hit the comment box below. Thanks for watching. All right, so quick rundown of what the sets and reps are going to look like for each individual modality that you're going to utilize to help with your speed and velocities on your kicks. So for mobility, we want to do a two set by two repetition on each leg making sure that you're getting full range of motion with each one, trying to gain new range with active mobility. Also make sure that you get to that end range and stay strong in that end range per each rep. For strength adaptation, we want to do three to four sets with around three to five repetitions. Now, this isn't maximum strength when you get to five repetitions, but it is along the lines of strength endurance and relative strength. So we want to make sure that we're doing that. We're not getting any any uh, any more reps in there because that's going to go into more hypertrophy or building of the tissue, building of the muscle, which is that's not really what we're trying to do at this point. We're just trying to gain strength in that muscle itself. Rate of force development or power output, we want to do three to four sets around two to five repetitions. Nothing more than that, otherwise we'll degrade the overall effect 
and you will lose your overall intensity for each repetition because it is plyometric or if you're going to be doing something like that kettlebell swing you want to make sure that you're moving as fast as possible with submaximal loads to make sure you're increasing that power production through your muscles and then for your repeated sprint ability or your speed endurance you want to do three to five repetitions or sets i should say with less than under 10 seconds. Anything more than that, then you're gonna lose that overall speed. And we don't want that. We wanna train fast to be fast, like I said. So make sure that you're keeping that under 10, 12 seconds max, and let's get after it. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. I hope this video has helped you. If you have any questions, make sure you hit the comment box below and I'll be sure to answer them there. Also hit the subscribe button to get new content each and every week. Also hit that notification so that you can get informed when I actually put these videos out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.